All right, bitches, so we're back for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. So we got the Grandpa Cup out, so that is the, uh, I guess sort of the second kind of tournament. The weekend duels, I guess, are like the first kind, the Grandpa Cup, and then the National Championship. Uh, so we got the Grandpa Cup down. Now we're going to start battling Umbra and Loomis. Of course, we need to get this fucker up to... 20 wins to unlock a booster pack. So let's go ahead and start fighting this biatch. Oh, they're assassins of the ghouls, you say. Uh, the one thing that's really interesting about these guys is... They fight in the anime against Yugi and Kaiba twice. Now, the first time, Kaiba pulls out, like, an insane combo in the first turn. Where he has, like... The Lord of Dragons, and then he has, like, the, uh, Dragon Summoning Flute. And it's just, like, the most ridiculous combo ever. And it enables him to summon Obelisk in, like, the first turn and just absolutely obliterate these guys. Uh, but then they come back a little later. I'm trying to think if I should just... Yeah, yeah. Let's just fucking destroy his shit and start attacking. Um, they come back later and they do another, uh, two-on-two -two duel against, uh, Dark Yugi and Kaiba. But this time, it's at the top of a tower, and they're literally, like, like, if you're in, like, a mall, and, like, it's got, like, one of those type of, like, glass ceilings where you could look up and see the sky, like, they're on a building that has something like that on that reinforced glass, and what happens is when your life points reach zero a bomb will blow up and that glass will explode and you'll fall to your death. Another one of those battles in the Battle City arc where Merrick sets up like this ridiculous like stupid trap. Ugh, Cyber Jar. Alright. Okay, cool. So we got a uh, monster. Good. Uh, summon Skull. Oh, we'll be able to summon Summon Skull next time. Graceful Charity. Wow, we got a really good hand. Uh-oh, but he's got Gemini Elf. That's not good. Morphing Jar. Okay. Okay, so he's going to flip that. Oh, wow. He. Whoa, whoa. He got some good shit. Um... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I can't get rid of the Gemini Elf. If I attack the Blast Sphere, it's going to do damage to myself. If I attack the Morphing Jar, I'm going to lose this really good hand I've got. Uh, but I really did not expect him to get the Gemini Elf, I'm going to be honest. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to attack. Well... Yeah, I'm not gonna attack. Yeah, we're gonna come. No, damn it! I fucked up. I meant to go to my uh, main phase too. All right, so let's see what he does. Giant True Nade. Uh, da, 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 da. no, we're good. Okay. Oh, he's got the Bistro Butcher. Interesting. So wait, that's gonna cause me to draw cards though. All right. So now we have a ridiculous hand going on here. All right, all right, all right. So I've got a million cards. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is use Graceful Charity so we can have... This is the largest hand I'm ever gonna have. Hold on, how many cards is this? Two, three, four... I have a 12 card hand right now. This is insane. Okay, hold on, hold on. What do I want to get rid of? Now, I have a Monster Reborn so we can get rid of the blue eyes and we'll bring him back with the Monster Reborn. Now, I can also get rid of Jinzo? No, Jinzo might be important. We want that both seven tools. Let's get rid of Neo. Okay. All right. Um, let me put down my seven tools right there. All right, hold on. Let me use Tribute to the Doomed. 
because I want to get rid of that one monster. So we'll get rid of Jinzo, I guess. I, we'll just do it. Whatever. All right. Now, I want to get rid of that, the Blast Sphere. That was the Blast Sphere, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Now... Okay, we've got Seven Tools of the Bandit. We've got Magic Jammers. Uh, Swords Revealing Light. Fuck! Damn it, I... Oh, I made two mistakes. I'm making way too many mistakes. I can't believe I just did that. That was a really bad mistake I just made. I used the Swords of Revealing Light too soon. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm fucking up. I fucked up twice already in this duel. This is not like me. What is going on? I am fucking up so bad. I'm so ashamed. I'm shaming my ancestors right now. Yugi is shaking his head right now. Okay, well, I could still bust out the Summon Skull. Uh, so let's get you down so we can get that summon skull out. Okay. All right, this has been a really wacky duel so far. I will right, let that pot of greed go. I'm not gonna block that. Swords of Sealing Light. I'll let that go as well. Go ahead. What? Why did he use two Swords of Sealing Light at the same time? Can someone explain why he used two at the same time? That makes no sense. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we're going to bring out the Penguin Soldier. All right. All right, so this, yeah, this has turned into the wonkiest of wonky, wonky duels. Whoa, he's got so many reverse cards right now. Okay, we get Blue Eyes back. Uh, we're gonna Maneater Bug. Okay, I'm gonna combo his ass in a second. Don't you worry. Don't you guys worry. His ass is getting fucking comboed. Wall of Illusion, okay. Do I wish to activate... Uh, no. Yes. Yeah, let's use Trap Hole and kill that. Why not? No. Okay. Alright, so now... I am going to pop out a Swords of... Wait, 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 wait. Because he's got some monsters that could have some really annoying flip effects. So let me first place this. Um... Okay, I got it. Hold on. We're going to flip the Penguin Soldier. Yes. Now we're going to put back in his hand that... And that. Alright, so back to his hand. Those go. Alright, now... We're gonna flip the Maneater Bug. And now we're going to destroy his Gemini L. Alright. Now... I'm going to summon my Summon Skull... In place of the Maneater Bug. And now I'm going to... Use Premature Burial. And we're going to bust out the Blue Eyes. No. Not, not part of a chain. Nope. Alright. We're going to flip Giant Soldier Stone into attack mode. Now I'm going to use Swords of Revealing Light. No. Okay. Now we'll end our turn. What do you got for me? Alright, that monster could be a problem. Magician of Fate. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Now we can inflict some big time damage on him. With the Blue Eyes and the Summon Skull. So we'll have the blue eyes attack his morphing jar. And he has mirror force. That's okay. Because guess what we've got? Seven tools to the bandit. So no mirror force. Nope. Goodbye. And blue eyes obliterates you. Thank you. Goodbye, bitch. Now we're going to have the summon skull. 
attack the Bistro Butcher and fuck him up. Goodbye, pussy. Alright. Now I'm gonna have the Giant Soldier of Stone see what this is right here. Penguin Soldier. I figured something like that. Okay, that's okay. Oh, he only... Wow. We are... Oh, wow. They're so dumb. He could have put two monsters back in my hand, but only chose to do one. Okay, so now Penguin Soldier gets a free attack on him. <clears throat> but I did not summon a monster yet this turn. So we'll go to main phase two. And we are going to pop the Sinister Serpent down in defense mode. And let's also... Yeah, that'll be good. And then next turn, I'll re-summon Blue Eyes using the Sinister Serpent. Alright. Call of the Haunted. Ooh, nice. Alright, so let's bring in Blue Eyes again. We'll get rid of Penguin Soldier and the Sinister Serpent. I love using the Sinister Serpent as a tribute monster because we'll get it back in our hand next turn. Uh, we'll hold on to the Magician of Faith. Okay. So, doesn't matter who attacks. We'll have Blue Eyes attack his defense monster. Hain Hain. Alright. Alright, what does Hain Hain do again? Return it to it. Okay. He fucked up. He should have returned the Summon Skull to my hand because the match would have continued for another round, but now instead I just finish it and it's over. Okay, woo! So despite me making two random fuck-ups, which I don't know how I made, but I did, uh, we got through that, no problem. Oh, their teamwork is breaking down! Ah ha ha ha! Fuck boys! Okay, what pack will we get today? Let us get the... Uh... Get the Launcher Spider Pack. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Sword of Deep Sea. What is this? Another card like this. Just like the Horn of the Unicorn. Okay. Uh, Cybersaurus. Saber Slasher. What's Rabbit Horseman? Right, right. Kaiba uses this against uh, Jonochi early on in the Duelist Kingdom. Okay. Uh, so now we need to continue getting some booster packs. Okay. So when we get 10 wins against tier 3, we're going to unlock a booster pack. And then we also need to get to 20 wins with Umbra and Loomis. So let's start getting these packs then. And that's my victory. Sorry you double teamed Fuck boys, you just got trashed. Oh no, we're all butt hurt because we lost and we are garbage. Yahoo, new booster pack. Oh, Grandpa, you're too real for giving us these new booster packs. So what is our new pack? We now, oh, that's relinquished. That is the card that Pegasus uses to great effect in his duel with Dark Yugi. Uh, oh, wow, we got some interesting things I don't know about. Okay, interesting. Decreased defense. Uh, not really much of a use there. Oh, this changes everything. Oh, wow. Interesting. Um... Uh, that could be useful if I'm summoning something from my hand. Eh, nah. Hmm. Yeah, some interesting cards there, for sure, for sure. Okay, so now we need to get uh, 20 victories on these two fuckboys. Bom, bom, bom! So I've been uh, trying out a Exodia deck a little bit. It is pretty fun. Uh, and we do get this nice little animation when Exodia is brought to life. 
when, you know, Dark Yugi says, Exodia obliterates! That's the only one part of the English dub that I actually like. Alright, but this is our 20th victory against these two motherfucking biatches. Which means, yes, you've guessed it, kids, a brand new delicious booster pack. Which looks to be, we could already see it, it's that Battle Ox. Probably not gonna be a lot of good stuff in here, I'll bet, but who knows. Uh, oh, this is interesting, what is this? Oh, reduce your life points by half. Oh, okay, so this is trash then. Thanks, thank you. Yeah, the rest of this stuff, Crass Crown, yeah, kind of like a bitch-ass version of the Penguin Soldier. Okay. So now, all we have left to do for this tier is we just have to take down Malik 20 times, and we're about to unlock a number of different booster packs in doing so.